Hi, I'm Randy Jeffers. You know, there's a number of uh, uh, really great movies over the years that uh, have uh, glorified jewel thieves. And, you know, when you watch these movies, they're so much fun to watch. And, but, but you, you know, you, you sort of think, well, you know, that couldn't happen in real life. Well, there is a guy by the name of Arthur Berry. Now, Arthur Berry was described by Time Magazine as, as the slickest second story man in, uh, uh, in, in the whole East Coast. And, and this guy, you know, really was one of the most famous jewel thieves of all time. And, and you know, over the course of, the, of many, many years, he, he committed uh, as, as many as 150 burglaries. Uh, but, but he was very unique in what he did. You know, he stole jewels that, you know, had this tremendous value, you know, in the millions, uh, you know, maybe five, ten million dollars. And, and, you know, he, you know he, he seldom robbed from anyone that wasn't listed in, you know, on, on the social registers. And so, so he's very unique in that, but, but uh, you know, he would uh, oftentimes do his, his work in, in a tuxedo, all dressed up. Uh, and, 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 and there was an occasion or two when, when he got caught and uh, the, you know the, the victim let him go because he was such a charmer. He could just charm his way out of it, and and so you know they, they didn't report him to the police. But uh, you know, like most people who uh, who have a life of crime, you know, eventually you're going to get caught. And, and he did. He was convicted. He served 25 years in prison. And then when we got out of prison, he uh, he, he got a job in a little restaurant, and uh, he was a counterman there, and and uh, making about fifty dollars a week. And there was a reporter, a newspaper reporter, that uh, wanted to do a story on him. So he found him and and uh, interviewed him about his life. And and you know, after telling about all the the thrilling things, you know, all the the people that he uh, uh, you know he, he had robbed, the famous people and so forth. Uh, you know, at, at the end of the interview, he said, you know, you know, I'm not really very good at immorality. You know, I've just never been great at that. You know, but 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 in my early life, you know, I was pretty smart. And, and I was very clever, and, and, I, and I had a way with people, and I really think I could have made something of my life, but I didn't. You know, I, 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 I just didn't. I went down the wrong path. So when you write the story of my life, you know, when you tell people about all the burglaries and, and you know, all the famous people and all the millions of dollars that I stole, don't, don't just tell about those things. You know, don't tell about just the famous people that get robbed, but tell them about the most important person that I robbed. And that was me, Arthur Berry. Here's to your absolutely incredible success.